I am young, that will define. Anthropic block post between factor agents is amazing. It tells us how to define agents by their type, what are the building blocks of agents, and the most common matters and use cases of agents. So in today's video, let's build these common matters of agents in DeFi. DeFi is an open source AI agent development tool. You can check on our GitHub repository and use it locally by Docker Compose, or you can try our free cloud version at DIFI.ai. So Anthropic first introduces the basic building blocks of agents. This building blocks ensure that um, can access the right context when they need it. And there are a few ways to do that, using tools, virtual augmented generation, and memory. So let's use DeFi to be an agent that can interact with all of this from scratch. Here I'm at the cloud version of DeFi. So I want to build an agent that knows everything about TV show The Office, and I will create an agent called the Office Wiki Agent. The first thing we're going to do is to prompt our agent. So it basically tells the agent, you are an AI assistant, knows everything about the office. You can use the information in retreat at the knowledge base. If the retreat knowledge is not sufficient for answering the question, you should use Google search to, to generate the answer. Here, you can see information about season one, episode one is available in the knowledge and the Google search tool is ready. Before I talk to agent, I just need to make sure I'm using the right model in the right upper corner. You can choose whichever model you like. For agent, we want to use model that supports function calling and has better reasoning capability. So if I ask what's the iconic thing in the office season one, episode one, which by the way, the information is in our knowledge. Once the prompt is triggered, you can say it will use the knowledge and generate a pretty decent answer. Well, if I ask what's the iconic thing in the office season two, episode two, which it can retrieve from the knowledge base because we only have season one, episode one available, our agent will just use the Google search and give you the right answer about it. So the agent we just viewed can actually choose to interact with different building blocks in different environment. If we give it the context of the answer and knows there is sufficient information for the query, and if we don't, it will ask help for Google search suit by itself. So this falls into the definition by Anthropic. Agents are systems where LLMs dynamically tie their own processes and to usage, maintaining control over how they accomplish tasks. Agents should be used when you're facing problems that you don't even know how many steps are going to take. Agents typically cause more to run and can accumulate errors across steps. This is why testing and guardrails are essential before deployment. In DeFi, you can debug the agent using multiple models at one time. You can inspect the chat history and the building blocks usage. And you can guardrail the query and response by using keyword filtering and moderation model. Now let's go into the second category, which is called workflow. Workflows are systems where LMs and tools are orchestrated through predefined code passes. What this means is, the pattern between input and output doesn't have to be a single thread like the agent loop. So Anthropy gives us a bunch of patterns of workflow. Let's build off this in DeFi. Prompt chaining is a workflow that can break tasks into sequential steps. The LMs in prompt chaining will use the output from the previous step as input, and the gate here would use code to validate whether the previous output is qualified for subsequent process. I'm going to create a recipe generator. And at the start point, we use ingredients at the input. The output of recipe generator will go through an if-else block. In this if-else block, it can tell if the recipe contains the word garlic. If the recipe doesn't use any garlic, we can proceed with LM that will help develop a more detailed recipe, and another LM that perform cooking tips addition. If there is garlic in the recipe, the workflow will instantly fail. Let's use tomato, potato, and chicken as an example. When the workflow is running, you can see the response time, output of each block, and the token consumption. So here you can see the workflow failed because there is garlic in the recipe. Now let's take a look at routing. Routing is a workflow that classifies input and directs them to specialize the sequence. It will use LM to evaluate the input. Determine the category and direct the input to specialized substeps. Again, I will create a recipe generator workflow and take ingredients as input. The question classifier block, which can make decision based on the prompt of classification, will take the ingredients and decide which is the perfect way whether fry, stew, or bake can produce the best dish according to the ingredients. So if I run this workflow with potato and steak, it will direct the ingredients to the specialized fried recipe generator. Let's now look at the parallelization. It's a workflow where multiple LMs work simultaneously on one task. 
It can break a task into independent subtasks that run in parallel, or it can run identical tasks multiple times to get diverse outputs. Again, let's use the recipe generator. To implement parallelization, I will make the ingredients go into these three recipe generators all together. And I will use a variable aggregator to get three recipes into one piece. So parallelization is useful when you need different opinions on a certain question. Like you want to decide which is the best way to cook potato and steak. But you want to make sure you heard all three cooking methods first. Okay. Now let's talk about something more interesting. The orchestrator worker's workflow. An easy thought for this workflow would be when you're writing a report and you use one LLM to generate outline of the report. Then there is the orchestrator distribute all the outline sections to different workers to write independently. So in the recipe example, we first use the recipe outline generator. And then we have this parameter extractor block. It will use LLM to extract an array of recipe steps. And then an iteration block will take this array. Inside the iteration block, there is an LLM which will take the name of recipe steps and generate each part of the recipe. This LLM will repeat as many times as how many steps are in the array. In the end, we have a synthesizer which will take the output array from the iteration block and synthesize it into one big recipe. This workflow is useful when we can't predict the subtasks in advance. So we don't know how many steps will be to cook ingredients like potato and steak, but it doesn't matter. The orchestrator will help us distribute each of these steps to the workers, and the workers can handle your tasks as many times as how many steps are there. For the last workflow, we have Evaluator Optimizer. It has a feedback loop between two LLM components. The optimizer generates initial responses and iteratively improves them. And the evaluator will assess responses and give feedback. So here we use this loop block as a container of our evaluator and optimizer. We create two global variables, which are the recipe and feedback. The optimizer will generate the recipe based on the ingredients and feedback. The evaluator will generate the feedback and the condition for qualification, which is end the feedback with the word success. The variable assigner here will assign the output of each LLM into the container's global variable. And the loop container will check if the global variable feedback ends with the word success. We can actually see it took our model four times to generate a qualified recipe. Now you learn these common matters of agents, you can actually implement your own use cases and make everyone knows about the project by simply clicking on the publish button. Go share this link with your collaborator and let them help you to validate it if your idea is right or wrong. The prototyping and validating of AI agent is a very iterative process. You should always find someone to beat with you to get involved. In DeFi, we allow you to invite up to 50 team members and build up to 200 apps. This is where your AI agent idea starts. So now go to DeFi.ai and sign up to host your first AI agent.